Hello, welcome to a new edition of Cracking the Cryptic. Now I know um, some of you out there are huge fans of our crossword videos and I know that we uh, we don't do them as often as you would like us to um, but I'm going to try and remedy that today um, by having a look at the Times crossword in a moment. Um, first of all I'm going to have a little bit of a, <laughs> a small boast for me though. This is yesterday's uh, cryptic leaderboard for the Times crossword um, where I managed to record a pretty good time for me, 3.54 for the Times crossword is, is, is a rarity and I managed to slip in there just in front of um, Mark Goodliffe um, and that's a very rare thing for me to beat him at cryptic crossword and that annoyed him no end so I thought I'd share that with you um, because it amuses me um, but now uh, we're going to have a um, couple of crossword videos this week I think Mark's going to record a video of um, a puzzle we were sent yesterday from uh, an Australian uh, newspaper which looked quite interesting um, and as I say I'm going to look at the times now the other video that will come out later today uh, is something where we look at some of the logic that we've been using in recent puzzles um, and I think that'll be a good video for those of you who enjoy the Sudoku right let's go report holes being punched in crevice okay I've got no idea now um, remember what what we're doing with times cryptic crossword or any cryptic crossword clues is we're always trying to split the clue into two parts there will always be a definition part that's normally at the beginning or the end of the clue and the rest of it is wordplay and what we need to do when we look at these 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 strings of words and that's very important what i've said there these are strings of words these are not sentences these are much closer to mathematical equations in my opinion um, and that is the way we need to think about clues. So solo needing some practice, rarely uplifting. Okay. So here I'm going to I'm going to split the clue after the first word. I think this is going to mean um, solo. And then let's read the rest of it. Needing some practice, rarely uplifting. Now the word some here crops up from time to time, and it's an indicator of I think the simplest type of cryptic crossword clue where the answer actually appears consecutively within the string of letters in the clue and because this is a down clue the word uplifting is important now if we were to reverse the letters that appear in the words practice rarely we would get a string of letters that was Y L E R A R E C I T C A R P now some of those letters, as you can see, spell out R-E-C-I-T. I don't know how you even say that, but I think it's a short word that means a solo in music. It's a musical expression. I think probably it's the same root as recital. Um, and recit, I'll say it like that, I'm sure is going to be the answer to this clue. Now let's try nine across. Staff keeping close to gourmet in French restaurant. Now again this is if we were to read the clue as a sentence you know it's evoking a view of a restaurant in which a chef is you know uh, keeping close to his staff. Now let's ignore all of that because the key to solving this clue or one key is to read the word close in the correct way. Now the surface is intending to suggest the position of being close to somebody else but I can read the word close as close so how about reading as staff keeping close to gourmet well the closing letter of the word gourmet is a T so I need I think the way I meant to read this is I need a six letter word for staff maybe which will keep a T inside of it and it'll be a French restaurant. Ah, no, it's not. It's even more complicated than that. I need a four letter word for a staff. And the problem with the word staff, of course, is it has so many different types of meaning. It can mean staff as in, um, you know, a group of people performing an activity, employees, men, or it could mean a staff as in a rod, or in this case, a cane and I need to put the word cane around a T for the ending letter of gourmet and add to that 
the French word for in, which is en, en. If I put all that together, I get canteen, and the definition is restaurant. So a very complicated clue. And the main thing to take away from it is don't read the clue as a sentence. It will almost never help you. Appropriate money, one million up front. OK, so here we need to split the clue again after the first word. The, this is a seven letter word which means appropriate or appropriate. We don't know which of those senses will be the, the relevant one. We need a five letter word for money and one million up front is saying put uh, the Roman numeral for one which is an I, an abbreviation for million, that's M, at the front of the word for money. So can you think of a word that would fit here that means appropriate or appropriate? I think the word we're looking for is in pound. Judge and godly type meeting. Well, OK, I've just got this. I was helped immensely by this T, to be honest. Uh, the way I got this was I tried to flick through synonyms I knew for the word judge that were five letters, couldn't think of anything. And then I tried to think of five letter synonyms for the for word meeting, and I came up with one. And then I was able to back into how the word play works, and that's often a very good technique. If you're really stuck, look at the beginning of uh, clues and the end of clues and try and think of all the synonyms you can and see if they fit and then see if you can work out why it's the answer. Here we're looking for a three letter word for judge beginning with T and godly type here is referring to a saint and saint has the abbreviation ST and that's what we need at the end. So a meeting that fits into this construction is a tryst with try, to try being to judge somebody this clue. Pretending function complicated shift political camp. The word complicated often suggests an anagram but there is no Y in the clue so um, I don't know that one. Let's have a look at this one. Flat objects thrown hard for sport. Again, a beautiful surface. If we were to read this as a sentence, it's you know, it sounds like it's suggesting a discus, doesn't it? Um, ah, but it's not. It is. We are looking for an eight-letter word for a sport here, and the way we need to read the rest of it, we need a four-letter word which means flat, and then we need a five-letter word for an object that's thrown out. H for hard. If you were to see H on a pencil, um, that uh, that would be uh, H can be an abbreviation for hard, H B, that sort of thing. So, how would that work then? Well, the four letter word we need is even, and the, th the five letter word for an object is a thing. If I throw out the um, the H from that, I get ting. Very relevant if you've been watching Love Island here in the UK, where dead ting has been used repeatedly as a, an unpleasant expression. Um, so eventing is the sport that we're looking for. Let's go back to this one then. Report holes being punched in crevice. No, still don't know that. Um, considerable fine. Well, this again is a simple type of clue because uh, if you see a clue like this, two words long, it's basically almost always a double definition. So what we're looking for is an eight letter word which means considerable and it means fine. The problem with fine is it can mean fine as in you know a punishment or it could be fine as in weather or it could mean fine as in beautiful. Handsome is the answer isn't it? So if something is a considerable sum would be a handsome sum and obviously handsome means fine as well. So quite dark first of those books for women. 
Well, the only part of this clue I've got a handle on is first of those. First of those, I'm sure, is referring to a T. So it's probably, probably the clue, the definition here is quite dark, and it might well begin with T. What could that be? Oh, okay, I have got that. Difficult. Twilight, I think, is the answer. And how does the rest of this work? Well, the question mark here is indicating that um, the rest of the word play is a pun. So why on earth would W-I-L-I-T be books for women? Well, believe it or not, I think this is saying Women's Institute Literature, which is a real stretch. So W-I for women, books lit, as in chick lit, all gives us WI lit. That, that's pretty naughty. If you're new to Times Crossword, you will look at that no doubt and think this is absolutely absurd. And uh, as somebody who's been doing the Times Crossword for 30 years, I sort of agree with you. Um, let's have a look at one across again. Ah, rifle shot now fits here. Yes, a report, as in the report a gun would make, would be a rifle shot. So we've guessed the answer, now we have to work out why it's correct. Holes being punched, well I think this is saying anagram, the word holes. How do we know when something's an anagram? Well we're looking for words that suggest shuffling, destruction, ruin, complexity, things like anything like that can be an anagram indicator. So being punched here is, is suggesting do damage to the word holes and you can see if we look inside this expression rifle shot H-O-L-E-S holes has been anagrammed inside the word rift so in crevice is saying inside the word rift put an anagram of holes we can create the expression rifle shot and that is a report not easy. So what's this going to be? It's going to be funny or fancy, probably. Um, pretending function complicated. Ah, okay, so complicated is fancy. Shift is... A shift can be a dress. So fancy dress, a political camp is a party and a pretending function is a fancy dress party because a function can be, you know, a function you attend as in a if you go if you went to a, a ball or something like that it would be a function so a fancy dress party is the answer very difficult what fits here often it's worth before you look at the clue look at the letters see if you can think of anything that fits uh, I can only think of the word agronomy at the moment, so let's see if that's right. Nation remains in turmoil. Oh, it's not agronomy. No, it's not. Okay, this is a the clue here is nation. We need an, a country that fits in this construction. Remains in turmoil. Well, I've just talked about words that mean destruction and complexity, and in turmoil here is saying anagram the word remains that everyone can see cracks. Well, remains, you'll note, is seven letters. So how can the rest of this give us one more letter? Well, we need to think about films and film classifications. And a film that everyone can see would be given of the classification U for universal. So we need to, to crack or split our anagram of the word remains with the letter U. And if we do that correctly, we can come up with Suriname, which is the answer. Not easy. It gives us an S. Let's start. Let's have a look at this then. Polish player or Polish player, winger or... Winger can often be uh, something with wings. So don't assume it's thinking... Of, it's obviously trying to point you in the direction of football or rugby here. Whereas I think winger is likely to be the name of a bird. Polish, if you polish something, you sand it. A player would be a piper, and the sandpiper is a bird, so tricky. Let's have a look at this one. Natural olfactory sensor, evidently always at the front. Huh. 
Right, well this is an example of a clue that uh, is called an and lit or and literal clue and this is a rare example because I've talked about how most clues can be split into two parts one part wordplay, one part definition well an and lit clue the whole clue acts as wordplay and the whole clue acts as a definition so we, this is one of the rare clues we can read as a sentence let's do that natural olfactory sensor evidently always at the front well that's something that senses all uh, olfactory in an olfactory sense is a nose so how does the rest of this work well if you look at the letters that are always at the front of the words natural olfactory sensor and evidently they would spell out n o s e so that is what is going on in that clue topping riddle about the fourth from sphinx it's obviously again if we read the clue it's trying to make us think of the riddle of the sphinx um, don't think about that that's not going to be relevant um, this is going to be a topping so I wonder if it, in fact it is it's a pizza topping and if I tell you that I'm sure you've all got the answer so let's put in the pizza topping we think the answer is and work out why pepperoni Riddle about the fourth from Sphinx. Well, the fourth from Sphinx is saying take the fourth letter from the word Sphinx. So that's this I at the end. Riddle. If you uh, pepper something, you riddle it. You know, if you pepper someone with bullets, they would be riddled with bullets. So pepper about. The word about has a synonym on. If something is on something, it is about it. Um, so pepper on an eye put those together pepperoni that's the answer image daubed on spear well here I think the word daubed is acting acting as an anagram indicator slightly unusual anagram indicator uh, but on spear is seven letters can we think of an anagram of on spear that means image I can persona Royal and rhyme, I'm thinking immediately here. <laughs> Neither of those is correct though. Skirts of raffia, that fibre. Well, the skirting letters of the word raffia are the R and the A, as in the outskirts. So put those together, that's going to be the start. Then we need a three letter word which means that, and the five letter word which means fibre. So what we're looking for here, I think, is rayon with yon being, you know, if you said look at that old city, you might say look at yon old city or something like that. Lament, flash, inside head. Well, here we're faced again with this difficulty of which side of the clue is the definition. Um, and if we're not sure, we can look for instructional words that refer to position, because anything referring to the position of something is very likely to be wordplay. So let's read it. Lament flash inside head. Well, I think this is very much suggesting we need to put a word for flash inside a word for head. Now, if all that's true, that means that lament is the definition. So can you think of a word that goes in here which means lament? And I can. I can think of the word bemoan. So once we have that sort of that thought process, again, we're just trying left with trying to justify why this is the answer. And flash here, believe it or not, is mo. As if you said in a flash, something would be happening very quickly as it would in a mo. So mo is being short for moment. So Mo inside bean, and of course, bean is a synonym for your head. Um, again, just practice. There are lots and lots of short synonyms for your head, and uh, you just have to sort of get used to them. Let's have a look at this one. Nation featured between covers of riotous book. So, the, again, the way I read this is covers of riotous is making me think of the covering letters of the word riotous. Now, 
you know, as in, if we were to think of the word riotous um, as a book, it would have a front cover and a back cover, the R and the S. So I think we need to put the, uh, the name of a country inside an R and an S to get the name of a book. Now you might be immediately thinking, well, how can that work? But book encrypted crosswords, always be thinking of books of the Bible. Um, they come up all the time, and I'm sure you've all got the answer now. Romans is a book of the Bible, and then we've got Oman is the nation inside the R and the S there. Uh, this one. Structure associated with sick people, the rack. Well, I think that's just, it's just stretcher, isn't it? That double definition. There might be something more going on there, but structure associated with sick people. Um, that would be a stretcher. And the rack, as in a torture instrument, was a, something that would stretch you. So I think, uh, I think that's the answer. Slightly odd clue. I'm, I think I'm missing something about that clue. Let's try this one because we've got the starting letter. A hook at the back, splitting top sail. Now, again, notice how I read that. I didn't read it as a hook at the back splitting top sail because I don't view these clues as sentences. I view them as mathematical equations. And the way I read this clue is A, hook at the back. Well, that's saying take the back letter of the word hook. That gives me a K. So I've now got A, K, splitting top. OK, so I probably need a seven letter word for a top and the whole thing will be a nine letter word for a sail. Well I can think of a nine letter word for a sail and that's spinnaker and that has an A and a K in it so that would suggest spinner is a top and it certainly is a spinning top so um, again once you learn how to read the clues they become so much easier. Let's look at six down. Spike prodding metal pulled from furnace very hot okay so spike prodding something that immediately makes me think I need to put a word for a spike probably inside something else now we've got this construction here well pin could be a word for a spike couldn't it so let's put let's just see if that works metal pulled from furnace. So this could be this could be the name for a metal that is pulled from a furnace or it could be a word for a furnace that has had a metal removed from it. And tin is a short word for metal so can we think of a word for a furnace that includes the word tin? Can't or can I think of, let's try and do it another way, can I think of a, if, if I'm reading this clue correctly, that suggests the definition is very hot. <coughs> ah, okay. So I can think of a word that means very hot that goes in here, and it's piping. Something's piping hot, it's very hot. And metal for pulled from furnace is pig, as in pig iron. So pig surrounds pin, gives us the answer. Index finger perhaps where one has a hand. Ah, uh, okay, your index finger, you'd often use to poke something. I think I'm actually helped by that last clue that was making me think about spike prodding. It's like a poke, something that pokes. So, an index finger is an example of something that pokes. So, index finger Perhaps is saying a poker and where one has a hand well in in the sense of having a card game you would have a hand if you were playing poker so that's that's the rest of this so this looks like knuckle sandwich doesn't it without looking at the clue so let's look at the clue a lip smacking snack question mark well again an unusual type of clue in that it doesn't really have a definition part and a wordplay part. This is simply a pun. 
This isn't even an and lit because it doesn't really have wordplay. We just have to read this as a sentence and think about it very cryptically. So a lip smacking snack. The surface reading is suggesting, you know, something a very tasty thing to eat. But obviously, if we think about a knuckle sandwich, that is somebody punching somebody. So lip smacking in the sense of hitting somebody. Um, and obviously sandwich it makes it sound like it's something to eat, but it's it's just not. So it's a very punny, punny clue. Now we should be able to get this. Again, I'm going to have a look at it before redirect is what I think this is going to be. Right, let's have a look. Well, it's not that. <laughs> okay, bird basted, roaster cooked, after oven cleared out. Well, the word cooked here is very often used as an anagram indicator, but obviously we need nine letters. And roaster is seven, and basted roaster is 13. So I'd need to remove four letters from basted roaster. Uh, I see, oven cleared out. Well, a type of oven is an oast, O-A-S-T there. So if I remove the word oast from the string of letters basted roaster, I would get nine letters. If I anagram those letters, I can get the name of a bird. A robin redbreast in a cage sets all heaven in a rage. Those of you who enjoy William Blake or Red Dragon might know that reference, and that gives us the answer we need. Um, 14 across. Goddess marrying that male and Egyptian god. Well, it's a good idea to get familiar with Egyptian gods. Um, Osiris comes up from time to time. Um, Ra is a very common one because Ra obviously is so useful in constructing other words. So this is the name of a goddess. It marries up uh, a two-letter word which means that male. That male would be he, uh, plus Ra for the Egyptian god, Hera, gives us a Greek goddess. Um, and we're just left with this bottom right corner now. Jargon, written about kitchen equipment in contract. Okay, well here, the, the, this is not an easy clue, um, but... The way I solved it was I know, know a four-letter word for jargon, and that word is cant, C-A-N-T. So if I know that, if I read jargon written about, that suggests I need to put the cant, and that looks very likely to be that, around a four-letter word for kitchen equipment, and that's going to give me a word which means contract or contract. So see if you can think of something that might fit there. The answer, I think, is covenant. So if I put oven inside, uh, I get covenant. And that, of course, is a contract. If you contract with someone, you covenant with them. Amendment, one being carried. <laughs> well, we've got another sort of legal reference. Immediately after covenant, if a rider to a legal agreement would be an amendment to it. And somebody carried would be a rider. So double definition there. Let's try that one. Turn a prize contradicting itself, so protesting every second. Well, that is a mouthful. Um, ah, a good tip. Let me give you a tip with this clue. When you see two words that you would very often see together, here, obviously, the two words are turn a prize. It never occurs to us when we're, or often it doesn't occur to us, to split them up. And the con con compilers of cryptic crosswords love to trick you like that. So when you see words that seem to belong together, force yourself not to read them together. Now actually, if we do that, we can solve the clue. The definition here is just Turner. And the clever thing about this clue as well is that a Turner Prize obviously is making you think of Turner in a sort of, you know, as a proper noun. Um, whereas if we split it here, a turner can be anything that turns. Now all of a sudden this becomes very doable. 
can we think of something that turns five letters long beginning with R ending in R? Well, I can. Rotor. So how does that work? Well, if we look at the second letter of every one of the words preceding or after the word turner, we get R, O, T, O, R. And that's how that clue works. So not too difficult once we read it properly. Religious student, he is apprehended by whippersnapper. Well, I'm suspecting this is going to be the name of a religious student. I haven't got that immediately, so let's come back to it. Performer carrying bomb bully. Well, this isn't too difficult, and that's because we can work out fairly readily which the definition side of this clue is. So performer carrying bomb, comma, bully. I can't think of really a way of reading this where the def or the wordplay isn't performer carrying bomb. Carrying is so indicative that of wordplay. So we need a, a short word for a performer. You might immediately think of actor, but actor doesn't look very good with this O here. So I think we're looking for doer. Somebody who performs something is somebody who does it. Four letter word for a bomb in the middle of that. A mine is a bomb. Put mine in doer, we get domineer, which means to bully. Um, right, not for losers, it breaks European record. Well, to solve this clue, you need to know that E is a common abbreviation for European. So we've got it breaks European, that's this E, record. So I need a short synonym for record. And I need to put the word it inside that word. Now, there's only one place the it could go, therefore, and it would be there. And all of a sudden, the clue becomes doable. Now, just one thing about the word it. Um, it often refers to sex appeal in, in, in crosswords. So if somebody has it, you might say they have sex appeal. And believe it or not, SA is a valid abbreviation for sex appeal. I have no idea why. Um, so if you see it in a crossword clue, always bear in mind it might not mean it as it does here. As just plain text, it can mean SA. Now, what's this then? Well, we need a four-letter word for a record. That's list. We get the word elitist. If something's not for losers, it is elitist. Um, not quite sure about that definition, but um, I'm pretty sure it's the right answer. And we're left with this one, which was our religious student. He is apprehended. Ah, clever clue. So here, he is plain. Is apprehended by whippersnapper. Well, that means I need to put the word is in a four-letter word for a whippersnapper. Now I think that's, uh, that word is going to be blank R blank T. And I think the word is therefore brat, and a Hebraist, somebody who studies Hebrew, would be a, a religious student. So I think that's what I'd submit. Let's see if it's right. Uh, where's the pregnant pause? There you go. That's how to do it. Slightly slower than yesterday nearly 10 times slower, but um, I hope that was useful to those of you who are learning how to do the Times crossword. And as I say, uh, Mark's going to be back with an Australian crossword uh, later in the week. Uh, thanks for watching. If you enjoy the channel, please subscribe. We really appreciate it. If any of you are in a position to sponsor us on Patreon, that's massively appreciated too. There's some extra content for those of you that do that as well. It's two bucks a month. Um, uh, for the puzzles we publish on Patreon, and three puzzle, three dollars a month for the puzzles and the video on how to solve those puzzles. So we think that's quite good value. Um, and we'll be back soon with another edition, cracking the cryptic.